Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Megan. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe below. We do a ton of Nespresso content as well as unboxings, including hauls and subscription boxes. So stick around. Today we are doing a Nespresso adjacent review. So we're looking at a bunch of different caramel syrups for your coffee, and we're gonna see which one we like the best. So I'm just gonna go through the ones we have really quickly. We have the Starbucks Caramel. This was purchased, I think it was like $8 from Bed Bath & Beyond, and they only had the normal caramel. I usually buy sugar-free, so uh, this one will be compared to the Monin Caramel. So this is the normal caramel. They also have a salted caramel, which is really good, but we'll be using the regular caramel for the comparison today. And then we'll also be comparing the Torani caramel sugar-free, which this is an aspartame base. I'm, I'm pretty certain I'm not going to like it because I prefer sucralose, but we'll be comparing this sugar-free to the Jordan Skinny Syrup sugar-free, and this one I usually purchase for like $4 from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. The Monin was like in a sample pack that was like $10 or $12. So I'm just going to make a couple lattes. We're just going to do normal hot lattes frothed with the syrup and then we'll be using the Starbucks blonde roast for all of the lattes. So I'll be back. Okay, so first we're going to compare the two regular sugar ones. My milk did not froth that much this morning. I think it's because it's a little bit older, but this is the Starbucks one and we'll give this a taste first. It's good. You can taste the caramel. It's still sweet, even though it's artificial sweeteners are like typically sweeter, but I still think one tablespoon is enough and it's sweet enough and it's tasty. The next one is the Monin. So this is the sample size Monin caramel. And for all of them, I used like up to the fill line on my Arachino 4 of oat milk and then a tablespoon of whatever sweetener and the Starbucks blonde roast espresso. I think for Monin, the caramel flavor is a little bit stronger than the than the Starbucks caramel, but they're both really good. Yeah, I think Monin is the winner of the non like the regular sugar caramel syrups that I purchased. It's just a richer like caramel flavor and slightly sweeter, but they both are good and they're both sweet. I believe the full size of the Monin syrups are typically, if you get them on Amazon, they're from like 10 to $15 for the 750 milliliters. But if you purchase it on their website, it's like a standard price of like, uh, I don't know exactly, but somewhere in there, but it will, if it's like more expensive on Amazon one day, it'll be the standard price on the Monin website, which has free shipping over $25, which is pretty great. Okay, so next we're gonna try the two artificial sweetener ones. As a reminder, we have the Jordan Skinny Syrups, which is a sucralose base. This is my preferred artificial sweetener. And the Torani, which is a aspartame base. And I do not prefer this artificial sweetener in terms of taste. So if you know that you prefer sucralose or aspartame, that might just be how you decide which one is the artificial sweetener for you. I know I'm gonna like the Jordan Skinny Syrup one better, but we will try them both. Yeah, so definitely a lot sweeter than the two regular sugar ones, but you can still taste the caramel of the Jordan Skinny Syrups and it's good. They, for these ones, I also did a tablespoon of both. I would normally, for the Jordan Skinny Syrups, do like a pump and a half, but I only have one pump and it's on my vanilla syrup. Okay, so the Tarani. Even like the smell of aspartame, I just don't prefer. Even though I'm pretty sure that's what they use in like Diet Coke, but it's different for me. I don't know why. Yeah, I just... I'm more used to the sucralose flavor, and sucralose is typically sweeter than aspartame, if you didn't know that. i um, not sure the science behind that, but it is not as sweet to me, and I don't know, the caramel smell from it, it just smells very fake, and I'm just not 
I'm not a fan of the Tarani sugar freeze. I'm gonna have to try and purchase some of the regular Tarani syrups to see if I like those better than their sugar free ones, but I am not a fan of their sugar free syrups. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> Okay, well, I definitely think the sugar-free winner is the Jordan Skinny Syrups, which is not a surprise. There are a couple other types of sugar-free syrups out there. For the vanilla comparison, I will link that video, but I also had the Starbucks sugar-free for that, and I really did like that one as well. I know Monin also has sugar-free syrups that I've been wanting to try. I believe it's a sucralose and another like mixture for the um, sugar alcohol that they use but uh, the winner for the regular sugar ones in this comparison was the Monin and their syrups are very good. I haven't bought that many full size ones but I've got a lot of sample sizes to see which flavors I like the most and their salted caramel is also fantastic if you haven't tried that. So let me know below what is your favorite caramel syrup? Have, do you even like caramel syrup at all? Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.